On the island of Sodor, there are a lot of important places. There's Knapford Station, with its hustle and bustle. Tidmouth Sheds, to rest and relax. And then there's Brendam Docks. At Brendam, there's always something new to discover. One morning, Percy was at Brendam Docks. Percy had a special. He was to pick up new tables and chairs for Dowager Hat's house. But the boat was late. Percy had to wait. I don't like waiting, Cranky. Really useful engines huff and puff. Cranky cranked. Really useful engines learn to wait. Then Salty trundled over. There's a fog a-rolling in, me hearties. I can feel it in me pistons. You'd best look out for the monster of Brentum. Percy's boiler bubbled. Please, Salty, please tell us the tale of the monster of Brentum. Salty smiled. <laughs> I'll tell ye quickly afore I goes to the diesel works. Long ago, a thick fog rolled into Brendam. The engines couldn't see beyond their buffers. Then, in the fog, one old engine saw a shape. It was tall, like a tower. It turned and it twisted. It croaked and it creaked. Percy's eyes were wide with wonder. What was it? They say as how it was the monster of Brendam. But it only comes out when the fog rolls in. <laughs> now, I must hurry. And Salty whirred away to the diesel works. Percy was excited. Do you think we might see the monster of Brendam today, Cranky? Cranky cranked. There's no such thing as the monster of Brendam. Salty's being silly. That made Percy cross. Salty's not being silly. I'm sure there's a monster of Brendam. Fog's rolling in now. I'm sure I will find it. And Percy puffed proudly away. It was foggy. Percy chuffed carefully. He could see Edward. Edward had coal to deliver. Edward, would you like to come and find the monster of Brendam with me? Salty said the monster is tall, like a tower. It turns and it twists. It croaks and it creaks. Bust my buffers. It sounds scary. Then Percy gasped. Fizzling fireboxes. There it is. It's tall like a tower. And very scary. Edward pumped his pistols, and with a whir of his wheels, he whooshed forward, straight into Rocky. Rocky was surprised. He dropped an oil drum right onto Edward's coal sacks. Coal dust flew everywhere. Edward, what are you doing? I'm very sorry, Rocky. We thought you were the monster of Brendam. Because you're tall, like a tower. Don't worry, Edward. I'll go and get help. And Percy chuffed away. Percy steamed slowly to the level crossing. Toby was there. Hello, Percy. I don't like all this fog. I do. I'm looking for the monster of Brendam. Salty said the monster is tall like a tower. It turns and it twists. It croaks and it creaks. Trebling tracks. It sounds scary. Then Percy stopped. Bubbling boilers. There it is. It's turning and twisting. It's the monster. Oh, me. Oh, my. I'm gone. Toby rang his bell loud and long. Suddenly, a magnet dropped onto Toby's poles. And with a clang and a clatter, Drop them onto the tracks. Oh, Toby, you scared me. What are you doing? Butch, I'm very sorry. We thought you were the monster of Brendam. Because you turn and twist. Don't worry, Butch. I'll go and get help. And Percy chuffed away. 
Henry was at the water tower. Percy pulled up. Henry, have you seen the monster of Brendam? Henry was surprised. Pumping pistons? A monster? What does it look like? It's tall, like a tower. It turns and it twists. It croaks and it creaks. It's over there. It's croaking and creaking. It's the monster of Brendam. And Henry raced away like the wind. Percy steamed slowly forward. Hello, Mr. Monster? Is that you? Suddenly, the croaking and the creaking stopped. Who's calling me a monster? Percy peered into the fog. With a croak and a creak, Diesel oiled towards him. Percy was surprised. Diesel, I thought perhaps you were the monster of Brendam, but maybe it's just that your axles need oiling. Diesel spluttered. Out of my way, you silly steamy! Percy wobbled and wished. Then he whooshed all the way back to Brendam Docks. Percy peered up to Cranky. Did you find him then, the monster of Brendam? No, I didn't. Cranky cranked. I told you there was no such thing. You're right, Cranky. I didn't find the monster. I made Edward bash buffers with Brocky, Butch to drop Toby's poles, Henry to huff away scared, and Diesel to be very cross. I am a very silly steamy. Then Percy gasped. <gasps> I was so busy finding the monster, I didn't go back to help my friends. First, Percy found Rocky and Edward. I have to deliver the coal to Brendam, but I don't want to meet the monster. Don't worry, Edward. There is no monster. Follow me. Then he found Toby. I have to deliver these poles to Brendam, but I don't want to meet the monster. Don't worry, Toby. There is no monster. Follow me. Percy, Edward, and Toby puffed into the docks. Then they saw Henry. Henry was whooshing and whooshing with worry. There he is. It's tall, like a tower. It turns and it twists. It croaks and it creaks. The, the monster, monster of Brendam. Then, out of the fog. The monster spoke. Where have you been, you silly steamy? The tables and chairs are waiting. Cranky! Just then, Salty rolled back. That's right, me hearties. Cranky, our very own monster of Brendam. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone laughed. Except Cranky, who cranked. <laughs>